Congestion pricing has been spoken about for years in New York City, and it looks like it's finally going to happen, basically an additional toll. And with the storm of controversy over these past two months, it's a comical veil for the true intentions of the parasitic elite. We don't have to look further than the MTA hemorrhaging money from corruption and poor service, claims that they're losing $200 million every week. Now, the estimated revenue for congestion pricing is $1 billion per year. Not really a convincing enough number if the MTA is just going to throw it away in less than two months. I bet that $1 billion is based off current ridership, not based off the probable mass exodus after this ridiculous money grab is the last straw for many. Now, that should be a good enough reason to tell these government officials in charge of these transportation authorities to jump off a cliff. The money might as well be burned in a driveway instead of given to these crooks. $23 a day is nothing to these thieves and liars who have stolen millions from the masses. But for the average worker, it's hours of compensation every day. Percent of car commuters for workers are all over the place. But since the pandemic, about half of workers commute via car now. It said that 27% of people drive to work in general, but those numbers are much higher outside of Manhattan in Queens, Staten Island, Bronx, Brooklyn. Staten Island, for instance, having 64% of workers commuting by car. And this $23 will put people in a very tough position because if you're making $20 to $30 hourly, after taxes, you're losing like two hours of work every single day in additional tolls. Over 20% of your time, now it's just disappearing to the MTA to do God knows what. When you think about it that way, it's discouraging, and people will do drastic things to make up for it. Problem is, a 45-minute car ride for some turns into a two-hour train ride, and you can bet these psychos in charge would love for you to suffer for four hours on mass transit every day to save 20 bucks. You know, it's probably the biggest problem. Traffic is already horrendous in the outer boroughs, highways around the city. Not necessarily in Manhattan, where they're trying to reduce congestion. The outskirts, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, are all heavily, heavily congested already. The traffic's unbearable. When you're actually in Manhattan, in the city, yeah, there's traffic, but the gridlock isn't nearly as crazy as when you try to leave or enter the city. When you implement congestion pricing, you're discouraging people from entering the city. And to avoid the city, they need to use those already heavily congested roads and highways. There's going to be so much accumulation of traffic at these zones. So congestion pricing is something like below 60th Street. When you enter Manhattan, you get charged. So wherever you enter the city, it's just it's going to be impossible to like, it's just going to be insane. I can't, I can't imagine they're doing this. People will 100% drive as close to that zone as possible right before the congestion pricing, park their car, and then take the train to save the $23. Instead of taking a two-hour train from Queens or Brooklyn, they drive for 45 minutes and then take the 15-minute subway ride. All of these exits and points before the congestion zones are going to be so gridlocked I can't imagine. It's pretty bad enough. The parking in those outer boroughs is already horrible compared to Manhattan. And there's no way that these psychos in charge aren't planning on making people more miserable in their cars half the day. As if the economy everywhere hasn't been destroyed enough already. Small businesses, restaurants, over half of them closing in New York City. All congestion pricing is going to do is push more workers and commuters away from the city, making an economic comeback impossible. Here's a simple analogy. New York City's on fire, and the officials are making the fire department use gasoline instead of water because they can charge insurance companies more for the gasoline usage. How greedy are they going to get before they realize half the city is burnt down with no recovery? But if you understand what these people believe in ordo, of chaos, order from chaos, they intentionally destroy things and then they come in to save the day. Yeah, well, the day didn't need to be saved in the first place from anyone besides you. 
Maybe personally, I'll go to the city a few days a month, bakery, get dinner, maybe even like a dentist or doctor's appointment. But now, if I have to pay $20 just to get a $4 baguette, you can sure as hell bet I'm going to find an alternative near me. And then there's some like really specific nuanced scenarios where what if someone's like disabled or older and has like a car on the Upper East Side and has to drive down 30 blocks to their dock. It, it really, there, there's no way to do this reasonably. And at the end of the day, this is just some type of new world order, smart city infrastructure as NYC is definitely the center stage in the eyes of the world. I do find it ironic how all of these rats living in the city hate cars and commuters when every single thing they have in their apartment was driven in by a truck or car. And these people already have enough of a hissy fit when they can't get an Uber or taxi at 2 a.m. I wonder how it's going to be when something crazy happens and they're stuck eating government bug rations. On one hand, people trust authority and officials that they know what they're doing and this is actually going to be something positive. On the other hand, we know they're all a bunch of evil crooks and scumbags and want everyone to be miserable and unhappy and unhealthy. So... Uh, the way I see this panning out from like a simple, logical, objective point of view is uh, commuting becomes miserable for a lot of people more, leave over the next few months, leave their jobs, leave the city. And uh, it's also very possible that they implement congestion pricing just in the New York tri-state area, in the outer boroughs, after the traffic gets that, that bad. People will just do what I said earlier just like park in the outer boroughs and take the train into the city. That that's really what seems to make the most sense. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Like right above 60th Street, everyone just leaving their car there, driving around, parking, just.